Google's top products get incestual. Who needs a start button anymore? Accidental privacy invasion and one million dollars in a day. Twice. This is Recap Bytes. Welcome to the show. I'm your sexy time companion, Amir. Speaking of sexy times, Chrome and Android finally get it on. Google released a beta of Chrome for Android this week, finally marrying together two of its biggest products. It's been a long time coming, but it was well worth the wait. In addition to its lightweight and speed, Chrome brought its syncing abilities to mobile. Not only is your bookmarks and history available across all devices, tabs are always kept in sync. Go from browsing on a desktop to mobile and back again without skipping a beat. As with any Google product, don't let the beta tag scare you. It is fully capable of being your default browser, that is, if you run an ice cream sandwich device. You can find it in the market right now and soon as the default browser on all future versions of Android. We knew that Microsoft was looking to make some big changes when it did away with the traditional start menu in exchange for the Metro experience, but they've gone one step further and got rid of the start button altogether. The start button has been a staple of Windows since nearly the beginning. It is being replaced by a charm system that sits on the center right side of the display. This is a big step for Microsoft who traditionally doesn't like to break from its legacy, and though technically a minor UI change, it makes me very excited to see how Windows will continue to evolve beyond 8. Pat stole my address book. <laughs> Shows them no friends were found. Path is a company with an interesting story. Originally, it was a photo sharing app that wasn't too dissimilar from Instagram, except it was only for sharing with your close circle of friends and family. It flopped, but it was reborn in version 2 as a sort of life logging system with a fetching new UI. Its popularity has since exploded, a phoenix metaphor if I ever saw one. However, an issue with their friend finder system has recently come to light and caused a bit of an uproar. It seems that when it would check your address book for contacts, it would make a copy on path servers and just keep it. No one looked at them, but every Path user had a copy of their address book stored on remote server unknowingly. Path has since deleted all stored address books and apologized profusely. All in all, it seems like an honest mistake, and as far as privacy is concerned, the entire system was automated and unlikely any human eyes saw private user data. I'm going to teach you how to make one million dollars, and when, when you hear it, you'll be like, Wow, I don't believe it. It's, it's so simple, no skill involved. I could have followed it myself. And I mean, you're gonna say, what the hell, I don't believe it. Check it out though. I was cruising down the street in my Impala. They asked me who the girl in the car, that's just my baby mama, I don't give a fuck about the hose. Stuck that bitch in the jaw, cause the spies put the nail in that hoe. Cause I'm too sick, give me the heebie jeebies, break it all in the houses, steal all your teeth, kick your daddy in the pee pee. Yeah, you can see, see. Oh God, no! Why is it so hard? Why did I have to pick this? I did this to myself? Two Kickstarters reached a million dollars in a single day, well exceeding their goals. The first, and most famously, is Double Fine, the game studio headed by Tim Schafer. Double Fine wants to make more innovative games and not have to deal with publishers' constant demands for another Call of Duty-type blockbuster title, and so it's sought to crowdsource the cash. But none of that is really interesting. Personally, I've not known Double Fine to make non-innovative games. No, what's amazing is that the other Kickstarter to reach a million is an iPhone dock. The Elevation Dock, it's a dock cut from a single piece of aluminum and allows for quick removal from the dock fitting iPhones with and without cases. That's all. There's a Dock Plus model that has Line Out 2, but really, it's just the dock. 
Sure, it's probably the nicest dock I've ever seen, but still, one million for a fucking dock. That's all for today, but I'll be back soon with more erotic news. For now, like, comment, subscribe. So long.